Hello everyone, the floor aerobics yeah, today. Floor Woo! aerobics, you don't need any equipment. All you need is you. And, a, and a little bit of us, I mean. <laughs> we yeah. you and a smile. A smile, yes. So, um, low impact aerobics. Um, I always think this feels like you took like a three mile walk, right? Perfect. Like, it feels good. Um, this is a great workout for on a day that you're pretty sore. Um, or if you're new to working out or you don't like much busy work in the head and not much fancy footwork or choreography, this is your jam. Okay, so we'll warm you up here. Step touch, right left. And the arms, they come naturally. So if you like to press out in front or if you like to pump to your sides or if you don't like to move them much at all and focus more on footwork, do what works for you and what feels natural. Okay, eight more times. Eight, seven, last five. But try to make your steps really wide here. Let's do hamstring curls. So you get that heel nice and high to your backside. And what I like to do on a hamstring curl is like a reach and pull. So it's pretty similar to a row here. Your palms are up and your chest is open. You're taking nice big breaths. Soften those feet. And heel coming up nice and high back there. Last five, four, three. Go back to a step touch or a step tap. So you just step over and tap the foot or tap the floor. Okay, eight more counts. Eight, six. So if you have some space, we're going to move this forward. Just come forward. Four, three, two, and then hamstring curls to move back. Step touch, move forward. Nothing fancy right now, just warming up. Hamstring curls to move back. Again, step touch, and if you don't have space, you can stay right in place. Hamstring curls again. Four, three, one more time. Step touch forward. Three, two, and now hamstring curls. Move back. Okay, let's do a heel press out in front. Left, or right, left, right, and left. So I'm gonna take my arms here at chest and shoulder height. And they're pretty straight, but not locked out. And every time I press the heel out, I try to squeeze that upper chest and heat right up still. Five, four, three. Now bend the arms and do a rotator cuff. Little drop, down, up, down, up. All right, now do a shoulder press here. Press up. Every time you put a heel out, those arms are coming up. And try to stay open still. Last seven, we have five, three, now let's march out and in. So you go out and in, out and in. You can take this as lightly as you'd like to, or big marches. You could even jog this if you'd like to. Last four, three, step into hamstring curls. Okay, five more, four, three, and then a quick little stretch. Let's reach up. Last four, three, okay, and then push across to the opposite wall. And now reach up again, eight, six, last four. Now we're gonna push away to the opposite corner and add a glute squeeze behind you. So you have a good soft bend in that leg that you're lifting, don't walk it out but try to lift high enough up to find those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two. Now let's march out. So you have a wide march here. In a second, we're going to do knee lift. So we're going to add a twist. Let's knee lift. Left and right. Left leg, right leg. So you don't have to add that twist. You could be right here. You could bring those legs a little closer for a narrow knee lift. Right now, we've got them pretty wide to just stretch and open the hips. And if you'd like to twist, that feels good too. Woo! Uh, last eight. Okay, so are you warm? I'm warm. I'm pretty warm. Let's get moving here. Let's hamstring curl again. Hamstring curls. So, um, I like I promise, no like big patterns or anything, because we love choreography. We love it. But um, I'll show you some moves here, and we'll go over some stuff. Let's step forward and back to a mambo. Forward and back. So your mambo is just a shift of the weight. Forward and back. Forward and back. Again. 
So right now you're feeling that right leg as you come forward. We're gonna step into a left knee repeater now. We're right into that. We have five more. Four, three, chest up, step touch to your left. So just step back out side to side here. And Michelle's got her arms going. Again, we might look different through this whole thing. Everyone always looks different. Last four, three, now try the left side. Mambo now here, mambo. She go forward and back. Just again, try to be nice and tall in that torso and shift your weight appropriately. Don't come way far over that toe. Try to go about midfoot to heel here, four, three, and same thing. We're gonna leave your left foot in place. Right knee repeater now. We have five more, four, three. Now let's step into a step touch again. So you have a right lead. That means that's the first leg hitting on that count. Let's go two steps over, two, and come back. One and two. So what we're gonna do over here is tap your left leg out and hold. Six, five, four, three. Do the same thing, two steps over. Tap your right leg only, six. Five, so you can make this as big or small as you'd like. Two steps over, tap your left leg. Six, five, four. You can go high and low. Two steps over, or you could just take that light tap here and stay tall. Three, two, let's do it again. Two steps over, one, two, and tap. Six, five, four, three, two steps over. Tap your right leg. Six, five, four. Three, right here, stay with that mambo again. So you shift forward and back, forward and back. Last one, step into a left knee repeater. Now, woo! We have five more and we'll do this all on your left side. Step touch here. Last four. Three, now go two steps over and tap your right leg only here. Six, five, four, three, Two steps over, tap your left leg here. Last four, three, mambo. Do shift, then stand tall. Shift forward and tall. If you go look forward enough, you're gonna feel that lower quad. Two more. Step into a right knee repeater. Hold it. Just four more, guys. Four, three, step touch to your right. Good, now let's move this forward again. If you have space, and then hamstring curls to move back. Okay, right here, knee lift. Reach and pull this time. So you could do a knee lift right here. A little more modified, or add some big overhead. Even if you have light dumbbells, or some canned goods you'd like to hold on to, that could really intensify this. Okay, now let's kick your left leg and tap your right foot to the side. Kick left, tap your right foot. So to modify this, I would do a knee and a tap. Right here, nice and tall, nice and comfortable. If you want to intensify it, a light kick and a little lower on that tap. If you need any bit more, kick, squat, kick, tap a squat. Let's hold four more sets. Woo. Three, two, mambo now. Right mambo. So now we'll kind of put these moves together in four, three, step into a left knee repeater. Okay, seven more. Five to go. Are you breathing out? Exhale, Woo. touch, left. Good, now move this forward. Maybe or maybe not if you have space. Okay, then hamstring curls, come back. Four. Three, two steps to your left. Tap your right foot only. Down up optional if you need more. Or nice and tall right here. Last five, four, three, two steps over. Tap your left leg out. Six, five, four, three. Now go right into that mambo. Left mambo here. Left mambo. Last one, step into a right knee repeater. Good. Hamstring curls again. Last five, four, three. Now do those knee lifts again. 
Reach and pull, maybe. We have one more thing to do. Let's double your knee lift. Two on the left, two on the right. Again, two on the left. Singles now, right, left. So what we have next, when you're ready, is that knee and a tap, kick and a tap, or kick, baby squat. So four counts, do what you want. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last two. Left foot, mambo again. Four, three, two more. You're gonna step that left foot forward, right knee repeater now. Go, seven. We're gonna step off to the right. You kind of probably know it now. Two steps over. Tap your left foot only. Six, five, as big or small as you want. Two steps over. Tap your right leg here. Six, four, three, knee lifts. Let's go right into those. Five more. Three, now do a knee or kick and a tap or a squat. Okay, your choice here. Let's hold four more. Woo! And down, three. Higher low here. Last one. Right foot, mambo. Four. Three. Two. All you do is leave the right foot in place. Left knee repeater. Go. Seven. If you have a side pump in your arms, I would do that or maybe a push out. Two steps over. Tap or squat that right leg. Six counts. As big or small as you want, remember? Two steps over. Tap that left leg out. Six. Five. Left leg coming up. Mambo, go for it. Four. And back. Three. Two. Leave the left foot in place. Right knee repeater. Yeah, remember if you want to try any arms, uh, maybe push, step touch here and hold. Hold here. Last five. Three. Now let's open up to a V step. So that's when you step out wide, then in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So I'm going forward as you step out wide and then come back. Now come up and squat and pulse. Six, five, four, three. Now knee lift, right, left, out of this, right, left. If you bumped up a little, come back, that one space where you started, V step, out and in again. Out, out, in, in. You can make this a little harder by stepping lower in a baby squat here. Last two. One more. Now definitely stay in squat and pulse. If you don't want to come too low, right here is great. Four, three, two, knee lift right, left. Move back if you bumped up a little. We're gonna do one more set with a right lead. Woo! V set now. So some people go out and they kind of punch their arms. Out, out. Some people like this. I'm kind of this girl right That's here. That's my favorite too. Okay. Um, I'm often a jumping jack arm. Four, three, and now step forward and hold your squat. It's your squat. So if you also need a break, it could be a break time. Last seven. Five, think of pushing up. Don't worry about the down. Knee lift, right, left. If you bumped up, move it back. Four, three, now left step touch here. Right to left. Okay, before we do the left side with that V, let's go again, two steps over. Tap your left leg here. You have six counts. Four, three, two steps over. Tap your right leg here. Six, or you do a baby squat. Right leg, ready? Mambo. You have four of them. Three, two more. Last one, leave your right foot. Left knee repeater. Last six. Woo! We have four, three, here, step touch. Hey, we have a left lead, let's use it. Try that V step. So out, out, in, in. Left, right, left, right. Any arms that work for you? I say get the footwork, then worry about the arms. Posture is more important. Hey, stomach engaged, especially the low abs right here. That makes us tip forward if we don't engage. Okay, let's do two more. Two, last one, now stay forward, hold your squat. Or if you need a break, you can stay right here. Last six, five, we're gonna lift your left leg up first. Knee lift, go ahead, left, right if 
Give you thumbs up, bump it back a little. Four, three, go again. Set two, V step, out and in. So remember, some of you might have a couple dumbbells in arm. You could press right here. Chest height, you could do a shoulder press. Two more. Last one, now step forward and squat. Or pulse, or take a breather. Four counts, three, two, knee lift left, right, left, right. Six more, and we do our third set. Woo! Two, one, V step, out and in. Couple more. Last one, stay forward, squat or pulse. Seven, six, five. We're gonna take off on that left knee again. Knee lift here, alternate. Seven. Okay, now we're gonna head on your left lead here. Step touch to your left, left and right. Two steps over, you know it. Tap that right leg out. Six, five, four, three, two steps over. Tap that left leg here. Try to maybe move those arms now. Last three, two, mambo, mambo. So you wanna shift your weight enough to feel this. Last one, leave your left knee repeater right. Hold in here, you have four more. Four, three, step touch to your right. Woo! Okay, now let's do some lateral work a little bit here. So let's march out, right lead, and now toe tap side to side. So right, left. You can easily make this a little bit more intense with that half of a little sit here or deepen it to a full squat. I'm gonna stay here with a tap and then bring those arms to chest height and squeeze. Make sure you're not rounding those shoulders. Stay open in the shoulders and the frame, but squeeze to that upper chest right here. If you're not feeling it, make it tighter, closer. Eight more. Eight. Six. Four, we're going to walk. Walk forward and back. Walk, come back. If you don't have space, can you still walk? Yep. If you don't have space, you can march out. March and come back. Just make the march bigger. So if you, again, tight on space, you're right here with me. If you have space, you're walking. With Michelle. And you can always definitely add that overhead. Remember those toe taps? Take one more walk and then come out and tap your feet here. Um, so I, I just did it. I fell for my own naturalness of pulling your arms out as your feet come out. So before we did this, I did a squeeze. So it kind of tripped up the brain a bit. You're tapping your feet out and arms are coming in. Now let's hold those arms in and act like you're gonna pulse some dumbbells together. Remember, watch your neck, watch your trap, watch your SCM stay open, right? Five, four, three. Now lift and lower right here. Up and down, up and down. Just practice good range of motion while those feet are staying busy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We have two, one more. And now a knee with a tap, knee and a tap. Do you remember earlier we did a kick? or a knee. So now you might be feeling your workout, you might be getting tired, Woo! you might need to stay up with a knee and a tap. You might be feeling into it, add what you'd like. Four, three, two, we're getting close guys. Step touch to the right. Okay, and then take those arms and just a little circle forward, circle forward, keep them busy. Keep big lateral steps. Force yourself really wide here. Toes and knees forward. Don't angle yourself. Okay, stay squared off. Four, three, glute squeezes. Push away, push. Now push to your corners without arching your back. Don't hyperextend. Last five, engage your core. Knee lift, circle back. So you got tiny circles, airplane arms, T position arms, circle back. Okay, bend those arms, shoulder press here. If you're looking for good 
coordination, good posture, good form. Woo! Eight counts. Six, and we're gonna double these up. Ready? Double now. Two on the left, two on the right. Here, you might be getting tired here. Try to stay open if you can. Modify here. Bring your arms closer, but stay wide. Do three more sets of doubles. Three, two, one more. Singles here. Step touch, left. Good. Last four. Okay, left, lead. March out, left. Four. Same thing coming here. Toe tap, side, side. So instead of trying to come open, we're just gonna try to mess with our brain and get that upper chest. So squeeze in, squeeze. And if you want more intensity, you are half a squat or a full squat. Last five, and remember we lifted our arms next. Lift those arms now, up and down, up and down, but try not to round. Nice and lifted. Last two. And now, knee with a tap on the right. Knee and a tap. So again, if you're needing a little modification, right here. Keep that good breathing coming. If you need more, you got a little lower tap or a half a squat. Let's hold a few more. Eight more counts, let's go and move up. Four, three, two, last one here. Step touch now, right, left. Awesome. So I think we should kind of put these little moves together. Let's do it. Yep. Um, let's, you know what we didn't do was walk. So hamstring curls here, just want to walk you on your left side. Double up your curl. Singles now. Step touch to your left. Okay, now toe taps again. And you can do open or close your arms, whatever you want to do with those arms. Okay, now same thing here. Walk forward or you can march. Walk and back. So if you don't have space, I'm just keeping it tight. And Michelle's got plenty of space. She make this march really big. Chest up. I think a big march is hard to hold up. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, it is. Especially with the arms, too. I know, yeah. If you pump your arms, you keep those knees coming up. That adds a lot. Last four, three, stay home, toe tap. Left, right, yeah, six, five, four. Let's get back to it. Full step touch here. Eight, six. Okay, we're gonna start with that lateral movement. Take two steps and then you'll tap your right leg only here. Six, five, or that baby squat or an overhead reach. Two steps over, tap your left leg now. Hey, that V step. Let's go up to a V step. Step wide and then come back tall. You could be low to high. Work that left leg. Four more and we're going to sit in this squat. Two more. Here we go, guys. Step forward, pulse or stand or a little bigger on that squat. Knee lift. Left, right. Go ahead. Left, right. If it bumps you forward, pull back a little. Four. Three, step touch, left, to right. And now hamstring curls here. We have four, three, and now do a mambo, mambo on the left leg. Woo! Three more, two, leave your left foot in place, right knee repeater here. Eight of them to go. Six, five, four. From here, tap your feet side to side, right and left. Five, three, now walk forward or you march. Again, walk it forward and back. Two more steps. I'll try to do about four of everything that we have done. Toe tap, side to side here. So you could squeeze as your feet are tapping out. You could open. And now everyone lift, lift, you kind of come down, lift, come down. So again, this might seem simple, but think of the posture. Yeah, we're just lifting our arms, but give them some direction and take care of the whole torso too. Last two lifts. One more. Step touch to your right. Good. Six counts. 
last four, three, now we're going to knee lift and tap, knee and the tap, knee and the tap, I just want to make sure I do everything we've done, trying to remember, four, three, two, last time, step touch again to your right, okay, we can start from the top, Woo! on the right, that means we're going to head to this two steps over, two steps, you know it, tap your left side out, six, five, Three, two, steps over. Tap your right leg out. Last five. Where's that V step? Right V step, go. Woo! Or you can sit lower to taller. Low to tall, or just step forward and back. Right here, four. Three, get ready to step forward. Either way, you can hold a little march, pulse, or squat. Go. Six, five. We're gonna lift your right knee up first. Knee lifts, go ahead, bring them up, right, left. Move back to home if you got away. Three, step touch here, right, seven, six, five. Okay, we're gonna tap those toes. Toe taps, right, left, right, left. Or you can squeeze. And then everyone's arms in front and we lift. Lift and down, up and down. Are you rounding your shoulders? Can you still take good, clean breaths? Are you engaging your core? Step touch here. Right, left. Good, now let's mambo. Put a mambo, come back. Get ready for that knee repeater in two more. Leave your right foot, left knee repeater, go ahead. We have eight more here, eight, six, last four, three, step touch now. Last five, three, now here, march it out. What we're gonna do is a right knee and tap your left leg. So lift and tap, right knee, tap left. Remember to make it a little more intense. Kick, get low, or drop really low. You gotta move quick to get a full squat in there. That's trucking along. Last two, what did you say? Oh yeah. All right, step touch to your left. Good, now here, step wide, forward and back, forward and back. So your feet are gonna stay wide here. Let's take those arms up again. Circle forward again. So I know you might not have a mirror. Try to, every time you take those arms up, make sure you're pulling your hips under you, even as we're shifting here. Stomach engaged at all times, but enough that you can breathe in. Also, it's a lot to coordinate. And then that little circle forward without spaghetti arms and without walking out. Use your muscle to flex. Hold in position. Four, three, two more. Last one, just change it to a shoulder press. Up and up. At any time you need a break, you drop your arms a little lower. You wanna go full range? I'll go modified. Circle back. Back. Good. If you feel like you're leading with that left leg too much, do you? Is it catching up? Okay. So okay. let's switch sides. Hamstring curls here. Pull your arms back. Take a little breather from holding them up. All right, double your hamstring curl. Again, double. One more double. Singles now. Step forward and back. Right foot now. Forward, forward, back, back. Arms back up. So now go in, out, in, and out. So you're doing a standing chest fly. Feet are trying to stay wide. If that's too much, just stay taller. And if you need to modify, don't drop any bit into that forward step. Okay, I'll modify. Four, three, two, now bring them in and press up. So this, of course, changes your line of sight. Woo! Stay open. We're almost there. Now we're trying to challenge your upper body and your core, right? Last three, two, step touch here. Bring the arms down. Okay, roll them back if you need a little roll. Okay, I think we should do it all again. Let's do it. And then we'll bring it down for a cool down. Okay, let's go to the top, the top. Two steps over. Tap your left leg here, six. Five, four, 
three, go back. Two steps over. Tap your right leg out. Hey, that right leg, get a V step, V step here. So out and in. Two more. Let's stay up and squat or pulse. Or if you need a break, you're just right here. Four, three, knee lift, right left, move back. Seven, six, five, three. Now do a hamstring curl. Okay, we need a step touch. So I'm going to bring you back here. Actually, let's march out, right lead, right. And we'll take your walk. Walk up. So walk or you can do the march with me. Walk. And obviously, yes, we intensify with those arms. If you need to keep it up, push those arms overhead. Two more walks. Last time. Stay at home. Toe tap. Side, side. Right. And left. Open or squeeze. Three, two, step touch. Right. And left. Six, five, four, three. Now let's knee lift again. So I'm going to start you off on that left leg. We're doing knee or kick and a tap. Start when you're ready. Knee, tap, or kick, and tap, or woo, and have a squat. Almost there. Real close, real close. Last two, one more. Step touch out of it. Arms up and maybe circle them now. Camp string curls. Pull back. Double, double up. Again, two more sets of doubles. One more. Singles now. To the left lead. Four, three. Step touch to your left. And we're gonna start it all again. Everything on the left in four, three. Take two steps over. Tap your right leg out. Five more. Three, two steps over. Tap your left leg out. Four, three, go into your V step, V step. Low and tall, or step forward, step back. Let's do two more. Next one, stay up, hold it, pulse, or squat, or stay in place. Eight more counts. Seven, we're gonna lift your left leg first. Four, three, knee lift, left right, move back. Last six, five, four, three, Step touch, left to right. Walk forward and back. Or you're marching here, or your shoulder pressing, or all of it. Woo! One more, finish it. Toe tap, side, side, now left and right. Good. Last four, four, three, two, now we want a left, right knee, so we're gonna do a right knee, tap the left, right knee, tap the left. The last thing to do, okay? Last four, and then we'll maybe do a little more arms. Woo! Last two, one more, step touch to your left. Good. All right, let's march out wide, a wide march. Now do a heel press behind you, left, right, left, right. So if you're holding dumbbells or cans, Maybe you've got a press going. Maybe you're alternating. And actually, I like that. I'm alternating. So what I'm doing is opposite arm pressing to the foot that's going behind us. If you need more, lift, lift. So opposite arm going up to that heel that's going behind you. Last five. Now do an inside leg lift like this. So you can do inner thigh. I always ask people to remind yourself to stay nice and tall. Don't bend over just to get that touch. It'll come. Eight more here. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six. Last four. Woo! Three, two. Keep that wide march forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, good, two more, last one, now stay at center, tap side, side, left, right, take your arms back to T position, right here, okay, so this is when I start to, I get tired, I start coming forward, 
Try to, what if I get those hips under you? When you do that hip tuck, you want to feel that engaged core. Hold that. And we'll do a little bit of balance. Three, two, now a knee lift. Both knees lifting. So we're going to try to keep your arms in airplane or T position arms Woo! here. You need to modify your right here. All right, so if you want it harder, lift, lift, up, up. So you're cresting past shoulder height and pulling up. Every single time you lift the leg, you're trying to pull those arms up a little higher. You look like birds. I know, we do look for karate kids. <laughs> Cobra Kai is very trendy right now. <laughs> right? So, we, yeah, I haven't watched it. Last three. Two toe taps, but try to keep those arms out. Good, now try to lift the arms again. You feel it? Oh yeah. So this is for your delt, your cap of your arm. Eight more. Seven. Almost there. Almost. Four. Three, now let's guard your face right here and crunch, crunch. Knee lift with a crunch. So you're gonna maybe cover your face up to the eyes and try to really get that crunch. So not even just like this. Now we're trying to move and activate that crunch. A little bit of a tuck and feel that core engage. Eight, six, four, three. Now just come down and a soft stance. Okay, we're gonna hold center, we're gonna twist. Twist to the right, come back. Twist to the left, just try it. Twist to the left, come back. Now just the right, right, come back. Right, come back, just stay. Right, come back, twist, come back, twist. So this could be hard if you um, are finding it difficult to have the stamina to stay right here. Every time you come, get that crunch, squeeze. Three, two more. Last one, twist to the other side, okay? Twist, come back, twist, come back. Be nice and rooted in those legs and hips and muscles. Don't use your joints here. Let's do five, four more twists. Four, three, two, stop in that stance, reach up, right arm and left. Keep reaching up, one, two, one, two, four more, four, as long as you can stretch. Last one. And now bring those feet in about hip bone distance apart. Sweep up through center and then round open. So I'm going to leave Michelle to the front there. I'll do it to the side. Bring the arms down. Palms facing behind you. Sweep up. Open and kind of arch your back a little if you would like to. Lay right open. Four, three, one more time. Relax, neutral. Sweep those arms up through the front. Lift your chin and chest. Drape open. Okay, now real quick here. Round up in the upper chest area. Push, press your palms forward. And I'll turn to the side again. Tuck your chin a little. And try to get through to that upper back. And now you can do a little tuck of the pelvis. Okay, bring those arms open just one more time here. Round, tuck your pelvis, and open. Okay, any stretching in water, of course, that you would like. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Great job.